how to pay with Google Pay on Remotely. In this video, we are going to run through the answers to these questions. If you want to know what is Google Pay, you just can pause the video and read it yourself. We're going to go on. Can I use Google Pay with Remotely? You can pay for a transfer with Google Pay if you are sending from a country where we currently support Google Pay. Currently, we offer this payment method in all sending countries other than Australia, the Czech Republic, Luxembourg, New Zealand, Poland, Romania, and the United Arab Emirates. You have an active Google Pay account. And if you, you, if you have added an active MasterCard or Visa to your Google Wallet, we aren't able to support American Express or Discover cards at this time. If you don't meet these requirements, we may not be able to use Google Pay with Remotely yet. Find out how else you can pay. How do I pay for my transfer? To use Google Pay with Remotely, just sign in to the Remotely app and start a new transfer. Enter the amount you would like to send. If you're prompted to select a delivery speed, choose Express. Enter your recipient's information. Enter your information. On the payment method screen, select Google Pay. Next, you'll be able to review your transfer details. Make sure everything is correct and then select Pay with Google Pay to confirm. Choose a card to use and select Continue to authorize your payment. If you've chosen to use a credit card, you'll need to select Send Money to complete the authorization and then select Pay with Google Pay again. Next, stay on the processing screen until your transfer has been sent. You are done. How do I set up Google Pay? Download the Google Pay app or Google Wallet app to get started. If you're using desktop computer or your mobile web browser, use the Google Play website. What's the benefit of using Google Pay? Google Pay creates a virtual account number to keep your card private. If you already have your card stored in your Google Wallet, you won't need to enter your card information in the Remotely app when you pay for your transfer. Learn more about Google Pay security. Why don't I have the option to use Google Pay? To be eligible to use Google Pay with Remotely, you will need to meet these requirements. If you want to follow these links, you just should visit helpremotely.com website, type in the name of the article in the search field. All the links to the articles are here. What's the benefit of using Google Pay? Google Pay creates a virtual account number to keep your card private. If you already have your card stored in your Google Wallet, you won't need to enter your card information in the Remotely app when you pay for your transfer. Learn more about Google Pay security. To be eligible to use Google Pay with Remotely, you will need to meet these requirements. If you're using supported device and operating system, Check that Google Pay is set up and you've added an active Visa or MasterCard. Still don't have the option to pay with Google Pay? Update the Remitly app. You can also try deleting the app from your device and installing it again. If you've tried these troubleshooting steps and don't have access, please check back later. We are still rolling this option out to more customers. Why can't I complete my transfer? You may not be able to complete your transfer if you aren't eligible to use Google Pay. The card you're trying to use is Discover or American Express. We're only able to accept Visa or MasterCard at this time. Try a different payment method. Your bank stops the payment. If this happens, contact your bank for help. Why am I being charged an extra fee? In some regions, you might be charged a processing fee when you use a credit card or a business debit card to pay for your transfer. Your bank or credit card company might also charge you a cash advance fee in these cases. You can avoid these extra fees by using a personal debit card instead.